Have you ever wondered how we can financially incentivize businesses to reduce their carbon emissions? The answer lies in the captivating realm of carbon markets. These are ingenious systems devised to combat climate change by assigning a cost to carbon emissions. Within these markets, businesses can trade carbon credits, essentially permits to emit carbon dioxide, thus encouraging them to lower their emissions. It's a fascinating blend of economics and environmental stewardship. Welcome to the intriguing world of carbon markets. Understanding carbon markets involves grasping how carbon credits work. Picture this, every company gets a carbon limit, a cap on the amount of greenhouse gases they can emit. If a company stays under this limit, they create carbon credits. The fewer emissions, the more credits they accumulate. Now let's say a company exceeds their limit. They have two choices, either reduce their emissions or purchase carbon credits from a company that has surplus. This is where the market comes into play, a marketplace for buying and selling carbon credits. But who ensures this system runs smoothly? Enter the regulatory bodies. They keep an eye on the carbon market, making sure companies stick to their limits and credits are traded fairly. They also validate and verify the carbon credits to ensure their authenticity. So that's the basic mechanism of carbon markets, a fascinating interplay of economics and environmental conservation. But what if a company wants to go beyond just meeting the bare minimum requirements? Enter the voluntary carbon market. This is a space where companies, individuals, and even countries can choose to offset more than their required carbon emissions. It's about going the extra mile, not because you have to, but because you want to. In this market, carbon credits become a form of currency. Each credit represents a metric ton of carbon dioxide that has been removed or reduced. These credits can then be traded on the open market, much like stocks or commodities. Now this trading aspect introduces an exciting dynamic. It turns carbon credits into a potential investment. Savvy investors can purchase credits, anticipating that their value will increase as the demand for carbon offsetting grows. In a nutshell, the voluntary carbon market has transformed environmental responsibility into a tangible, tradable and potentially profitable asset. Indeed, carbon markets have opened up a new frontier in the fight against climate change, turning environmental responsibility into a viable investment. So, what exactly does all this mean for businesses, investors and the planet? At their core, carbon markets are a method of reducing global carbon emissions while fostering economic growth. They offer a potential investment opportunity and a way to finance sustainable practices. However, they are not without their challenges and criticisms. Transparency and regulation are key issues and the effectiveness of carbon markets is still under debate. Carbon markets, a complex yet promising tool in our quest to balance economic growth and environmental sustainability. After all, our planet's future is worth investing in, isn't it?